Mastering Politics, Unpacking Totalitarianism Hello, language learners. Today, we're diving into an essential topic in the world of government and politics. Our focus will be on the term, totalitarianism. As we explore this concept, we'll expand your vocabulary and understanding of this vital political system, making your language skills as well-rounded as possible. Totalitarianism is a term used in political science that describes a type of governing system. In a totalitarian system, the state holds total authority over the society and seeks to control all aspects of public and private life, whenever necessary. This system is characterized by strong central rule that attempts to control and direct all aspects of individual life through coercion and repression. To fully understand this concept, let's take a look at a few sentences using the term. 1. The dictator established a totalitarian regime, leaving no room for public dissent. 2. Under the totalitarian government, citizens had little to no personal freedoms. 3. The novel depicted a bleak future under a totalitarian system. Now, Let's dissect the word, totalitarianism. It's a noun that comes from the adjective, totalitarian, which means relating to a system of government that is centralized and dictatorial and requires complete subservience to the state. The word, totalitarian, itself comes from the word, total, signifying the totality of control and authority the state has in such systems. Try using the word in various contexts. For example, 1. The totalitarian state controlled every aspect of the people's lives. 2. Critics argue that the new laws have a totalitarian flavor. 3. Despite the hardships, a few brave individuals resisted the totalitarian regime. To help expand your vocabulary, Let's look at a few synonyms and antonyms for totalitarian. Synonyms might include autocratic, dictatorial, tyrannical, and oppressive. Antonyms could be democratic, liberal, or libertarian. Remember to use these words interchangeably to enhance your language skills. Here are a few sentences as examples. 1. The autocratic leader made all decisions without consulting anyone. 2. The democratic society prioritized the voice of the people. We've come to the end of our lesson on totalitarianism. I hope this helps you better understand this complex political term and expands your English vocabulary. Remember, language learning is a journey, and every step takes you closer to mastery. Keep practicing, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video.